Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing this inflation effect with Tyflow. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Jesse and there are a lot of tutorials on the channel. I'll be uploading more so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And as always I would appreciate a thumbs up if you guys have been enjoying the tutorials. So this was my original scene. Basically you can use any 3D object that you would want for this, but if you want to do a text, you can just do text plus, click, maybe make it an F like I did. You can give it a bolder font, maybe set the extrude to 30 centimeters, apply bevel, and set the bevel to 5 centimeters, that's fine. And you can just scale it up. And basically I just animated a few toruses um, to scale down over time. And that's how I get the tightening effect. So again, standard torus and just make a few of these. So it's important that at the beginning of the simulation, nothing is going through each other. So make sure that there's a nice gap between everything. And you want to enable auto key, go to frame zero, set a key, and then go to frame 25. And that's when you scale this down. So it'll just slowly scale down over time and tighten the balloon, basically. So that's exactly what I did over here. So I'll just switch to my original. So next, you just want to add a plane like I did because the cloth needs to interact with the ground. I think at this point, if you've been following my tutorials, it's not necessary for me to drag the operators there in front of you. So I'll just walk you through what I did. So first, we have a birth object and just pick and select the text. Then I needed to add a subdivide operator. So if I hit F4, you can see that without the subdivide, there's no detail in the geometry of the text, but we need a lot of triangles basically in order for the cloth simulation to look good. So you need to add a subdivide operator and I set the edge length to one centimeter, which is pretty detailed. For now, we can set it to five centimeters just so that it's faster to work with. Next, we need to convert this into cloth and for that you need the cloth bind operator. I think I just changed the binding stiffness here to 0.1 for the bend. And then the most important is the length bias for the binding properties. So this basically controls how far the binds are allowed to expand from each other, which means that this controls how much the balloon basically is allowed to expand. So if I set this to less than one, let's say 0.8, it's gonna shrink. If I want it to expand, I need to set it to something like 1.3. So now there's more cloth than necessary, as you can see, just getting wrinkly, and we're gonna fill it with air basically and make it expand. So next, I just added a collision operator, which allows it to collide with the ground, but also with these toruses. So you can see I just added all of them. And then finally, we can add the modify bindings operator. Now make sure you go under timing and set this to continuous. And the only thing you need to change here is the inflation force. So I ended up settling at 40 centimeters. So this is basically the pressure, or in other words, how much air there is inside of the balloon. So now if I go forward, you can see that it very quickly gets filled with air basically and expands and then as the rings get smaller they tighten the balloon now obviously it's not working right now because the rings are going straight through the geometry now to prevent this from happening you need to set the steps in tie flow settings for the particle bind solver set the steps to 10 and under main settings set the time step to 1 8th frame that's still not gonna help sometime, and in which case you just need to raise the resolution. So I'm gonna go back to subdivide over here and set the subdivide length back to one centimeter and let it update. All right, so everything updated and it's working beautifully. So if I hit F4, this is what it looks like right now. We have some beautiful detail when it's colliding with the rings and I'll just unhide my lights that I've already prepared. Now for the rings material, I'm using this sort of gold material so you can pause the video, look at my material settings. And for the letter, I'm using this blue shiny material so you can also look at that. Enable the V-Ray IPR and this is it. And if you wanna add some floor, you can just go under V-Ray and do V-Ray plane, which will basically give you an infinite floor. And I think I gave the floor sort of this black shiny material, right? So this is it. This is exactly the thumbnail for the video. So as always, if you guys found this helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you'd like to take your skills even further, I have several courses that you can check out at redefineffects.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.